Hey everybody, Marcos Viegas here with Matthew Macklin. It's fight week here in New York. Your man having his pro debut, Mick Conlon, this Friday. Go back to the time where you were making your pro debut for me and like, kind of like put me through what you were feeling and what Mick must be feeling during this whole week and leading up to that pro debut. Because I would imagine it, it must be a very anxious thing to just want to get in there and, and fight. Yeah, definitely. I mean, my pro debut was a lot uh, more un <laughs> underwhelming than this. I was uh, in the Bella Houston Sports Center in Glasgow on uh, the undercard of Scott Harrison. So uh, I was in Madison Square Garden, that's for sure. But um, no, it's, um, you know, it's, your, it's your first one. There's, there's obviously huge expectations on, on Michael. Uh, you know, I, I, listen, I had expectations myself on a different level. Um, but uh, yeah, it's your first one. You have a bit of hype behind. I had a bit of hype behind me. You want to go out there and you want people to kind of think, yeah, the hype's for real. You know, this kid can really fight. So that, that's what I was thinking at the time. I was, I was, uh, I wanted to win. Obviously, I, I thought, listen, I'm definitely going to win. But I also wanted to look good doing it. And uh, I'd imagine that Michael's, you know, going to the same. Of course, he's going to think he's going. He's he, he wants to win. But he's, he's probably thinking, look, this guy's four and four. I've been sparring with Jesse Magdalena and Oscar Valdez. I'm going to beat this guy. But you know, he also wants to go in there and do a number. He wants to look good. He wants to. He wants everyone walking away thinking, God, no, that kid's for real. That that hope's justified. So, but it's you know, so that, that's what he'll be thinking. But I think it's important that he just tries to forget about that now. I mean, this is a press conference, and that's where people hype things up, and that's the way it goes. But I think once he, he gets weighed in and everything now tomorrow, I think really then he just wants to focus about the opponent, and focus on winning the fight, and not worry about trying to knock him out or trying to do it. Uh, you know trying to look too good just just get the win and then you you end up looking good doing it if you if you try and try too hard to look good you, you look for the knockout it doesn't you know you end up getting caught with shots your timing goes out you telegraph things and and, and, and you can you underperform so i think it's important that he just focuses on the opponent focuses on what he has to do and then go out there and do it you being his manager and, and seeing the attention that he's gotten this week is it something i don't want to say it worries you but it's like ah uh, like like this all needs a chill, you know, because he's still young. Like, don't don't put so much of this on him so early. No, not really, because I think if you want to hit that superstar, then you have to believe in yourself and you have to kind of invite that and and appreciate it and enjoy it and 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 and, and use it use it as an advantage. You know, if you want to become a a big pay per view star and earn millions and millions in the sport, then you need everyone talking about you. But it but it does bring pressure. It does bring pressure, but you have to be daring. You have to dare to be great. And Mick dares to be great. And, uh, you know, it's important, you know, it's you know, it's the trainer's job to make sure he develops into the best fighter he is. But it's the promoter's job and manage, but the promoter's job to make sure he's promoted into the best star he can be. You know, my job's a bit of both, to make sure it all stays together. So, um, you know, no, I, I think it, it, you have to dare to be great. And... He believes in himself, and that's a great thing. That, that that's a strength, not a weakness. Obviously, then once this is all out the way, we get back to the makes the weight. Then it's like, well, you have to forget about all that now. Now, now you got to fight. You got a guy across the corner who's coming to win. It's a two-horse race. It only takes one punch. We've all seen it happen. So now he has to just focus on his focus on the fight. Focus on think about all the things he worked on in training and just go out there and do, do what he does. But you know he's boxed in two Olympic games. He's boxed in world championships, all the tournaments you can think of. So he's you know he's he's, he's pretty experienced. Seeing that he has so much amateur experience and coming into this fight. Is it really like a switch, like coming into your pro fight, like given all that amateur experience, do you still get like nervous, like as a fighter, because it's your your first pro fight? Like, did you feel like that? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I was nervous for my pro debut. He, he will be too, you know, he will be too. And, you know, there's a lot of pressure. He, had, he really has the, had the red carpet treatment, a lot of hype. He's had, you know, his main event in Madison Square Garden doesn't get any bigger. So a lot of pressure. There's 2,000 people coming from Ireland. You know, it's been televised back in Ireland. You know, it's, there's, there is pressure. There's massive expectations on his shoulders. But I think he'll take it in his stride. I really do. Mm. Looking at uh, the people that is being brought in to, to also walk out with him, you have Connor, which yeah. is a, it's a big yeah. deal, you know. When you heard about that, what was your reaction to that? And, and really, you know, the interactions you've had with Connor, how have they been? Yeah, I, I haven't personally spoke to kind of spoken with uh, his friend and a, an advisor, um, but um, yeah, they've been good. Listen, there, it's one it's one fighting Irish man to another, isn't it? You know, he's uh, 
That's uh, cool to see from from another yeah. combat sport to, to this one. Because usually you have MMA fans and boxing fans like just going at it, like, no, my sport's better, or boxing's messing up, or MMA. It's just people hugging each no. other on the ground and da 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 da. No, there's, there's never been any of that. I mean, you know, everyone's proud of Conor in Ireland. You know, he's really put Ireland on the map in combat sports. He's a superstar. He's probably the biggest name in combat sports. Obviously Mayweather as well. But you know, he's um and. He's probably his best thing in the MMA is his punching ability. You know, he is he boxed amateur. You know, he was a good amateur boxer, and he has a great backhand. Not, not, that usually kind of knocks guys out. You don't really see him doing an armbar or, a, you know, yeah. he, he usually he's knocks guys that. out. So um, he, he's obviously likes boxing. Um, you know, Mick 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 has huge profile in Ireland. All you know, amateur boxing is Ireland's most successful sport in the Olympics and has been for a long time. So you know, Michael has huge profile in Ireland. He won Sports Personality of the Year on terrestrial TV there. So you know, kind of tweeted him well done different things and there's a mutual respect and by all accounts I don't know kind of personally never met him but by all accounts once you're away from the the hype and everything he's a good guy and he seems that way and fair play to him and we're grateful that he's come out coming out here because it's a huge boost for Michael it's nice to see and uh, we're all very happy about it on Friday night what are you expecting to see out of Michael and what are you expecting to see from him the rest of the year you know I just want him to go out and take his time you know I don't want him to you know there's going to be like I said, there is pressure. There's going to be a huge atmosphere, but I don't want to. I'll, I'll, I'll be trying to drum into him now. The next couple of days, just you know, stay focused, mm -hmm. be switched on, be ready for anything. He can come out throwing. You know, he the, the atmosphere might make him go giddy. It yeah, might make him start thinking, really yeah, quick. Like you know, wanting to get a more, like over over committing on his shots and just going and head hunting and, and yeah. Well, you know, sometimes if, if a guy feels nervous or a bit daunted, rather than freezing, it might make them what we call commit suicide. Basically, come out and go for it. Mm -hmm leaving themselves open or punching yeah. themselves out, but you you got to be ready for that. That can happen. So I think it's important that Mick doesn't, you know, he, I think he soaks up the the entrance and the atmosphere, of course, but I think, you know, by the time we get into the ring and things settle down a bit, I think it's important then right now, switch on now, because, mm -hmm. you know, he could, he could come running out at you. So you need to switch on, be ready for anything. And, uh, you know, and if he doesn't come out running at you, then just come out, take your time, get your jab going, get your feints going. Get your distance, find your range. You know, if you can't hit him with a jab, you're not going to hit him with anything else. So get your jab going first. And once that's working, everything else will just flow. Well, I'm looking forward to it. I know a lot of people are looking forward to it. Like you mentioned it and just about everybody else mentioned. A lot of attention uh, on Michael Conlon fighting this Friday over here at the theater in Madison Square. Thank you so much, Matthew. I really appreciate it. Great seeing you. Marcos Vegas for Fight Up TV.